So let's have some fun with the range operator in PowerShell. The range operator lets you create a sequence of integers by supplying two integers and separating them with two periods. So when I run this, you'll see that it displays the one, the 10, and all of the numbers in between it. And you can go up to very, very large numbers. Let's go put a thousand in there. And we can even do this in reverse as well. So when I run this, you'll see we have 10 all the way down to one. We can even put these into a variable. I'll run that and now I have an array called ints, which I can also index into. You can also do uh, a really cool trick, pipelining the range to for each and having it do a block of code a certain number of times. So in this case, write host is going to write test and the number of the current pipeline item. So we have 1 to 10. We could go up to 100 if we wanted to, just for fun. And we don't have to only use uh, hard-coded integers. In this case, I have an array here that is going to contain eight different string values. What if I want to pull out the last half of those items? I can use this range operator here and I'm grabbing the count of this, which when I run it, whoops, dot count, you'll see that it's eight. So indexes start from zero. If I don't want it to overflow in the index when I pass the max range value to this for each loop, I need to subtract one from the count. And my minimum value is simply going to be the count divided by two. So you see here I'm dynamically generating these integers and then I'm still using the range. Then I pass it to the for each and I'm using the numbers from the range as the index in this in this array that I have here. So when I run this, you'll see that it pulls out bat, car, star, and tar, which is the last half of this uh, array. And if we want, we can even stick the range right inside of the index and pull out the values this way as well. So I've pulled out five through 10 inside of my ints value. And that's all I have for the range. There's a lot of other things that you can do with it, but this should get you started with the idea of the range. And uh, it's really handy, really fun to work with, makes things a lot easier. And that's it. Thanks for watching.